Good Monday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this November 9th. I hope that you had a great weekend. Uh, Things have turned a bit cooler. Yeah, compared to last week when we had temperatures in the 70s, close to 80 degrees. Now Mother Nature has hit that reset button. And uh, now things are a little bit more seasonable for November, the way they should be this time of the year. We should average... 63 for a high temperature and 40 for a low temperature. Yesterday, we hit 60 for a high, just 3 degrees shy of average. And then we hit 40 for an overnight low, which was right on the average. So yesterday was a very average Sunday in November in southern Kentucky, in case you were wondering. A year ago, we had a high of 56 and a low of 33 back in 2014. We had no rainfall yesterday, and uh, we're holding at seven-tenths of an inch now for the month of November with the showers uh, that we received the other day and a few thunderstorms and the gusty winds. We did get a few pictures from up around Edmondson County and Brownsville area and up toward Canmer and Hart County of some uh, minor wind damage, some Bradford pear trees uh, that were uh, chopped up pretty good. Uh, A barn up in Canmer, up in Hart County, uh, did receive some damage and some of the uh, the roofing torn off and things like that. These were not tornadoes. These were just gusts of wind uh, with those thunderstorms that came through the other day. But now we're looking at a, I guess so you could say, a better potential for seeing a round of severe thunderstorms as we get into Veterans Day, especially Wednesday night uh, and Wednesday evening and Wednesday night is what we're looking at about the timing of this. Uh, And uh, went ahead and put a heads up on uh, social media, and we'll talk about it today on TV. Uh, This is uh, a second season for severe weather. Now, we've been fairly quiet. You have to go all the way back. I think it's July... 21st, somewhere in there. Uh, The last time that we had really a slew of severe weather warnings in southern Kentucky. So we've been in a severe weather drought for a while, and the weather's been fairly quiet. Uh, But uh, a second season of severe weather is usually uh, something we can look forward to in the fall. You know, most people think it's spring when we see severe weather, but we've We've seen around here where we can have some very rough weather in the fall because it's, again, that transition from summer to fall and the uh, changing of the seasons usually brings that about. Uh, And we're looking at that potential by Wednesday. That is Veterans Day. And uh, the potential looks pretty good right now. We're under, under a slight risk for severe storms that could potentially bring us some damaging straight-line winds on Wednesday evening and Wednesday night. Uh, Tornado threat right now doesn't look all that high, but that could change depending on the dynamics of this storm. Now, there is a a possibility that we could see some uh, very dry air working its way, kind of slotting its way into the storm out of Mexico as it moves out of the plains and into the Mississippi and the Ohio River Valleys. If that should happen, it might shunt off or kind of scale back the severe weather potential. It could just kind of rob uh, that system of um, any uh, severe weather. But right now it does appear that it is coming and it is something that we need to watch for. And if I were you, uh, I would look at my weather radio, my NOAA weather radio uh, that you have and make sure the batteries are fresh. Make sure you have it turned on and ready just in case. Uh, as we say around here, know the weather before it knows you. This is one of those cases where we're giving you plenty of time to uh, factor in the possibility that we could see some rough weather come Wednesday evening. In the meantime, let's take a look at uh, the forecast for today. We've got a disturbance that uh, is moving out of the Gulf of Mexico, and it is extending that uh, trough or disturbance, that wave in the atmosphere into the Ohio Valley. 
and that is bringing us a chance of light rain. In fact, we're already seeing rain over toward the Lake Cumberland and Dale Huddle Lake areas this morning, and that is going to overspread much of southern Kentucky as we go through the day. But it should be a general light rain, not a big deal. Some of you may pick up about a tenth to a quarter inch of rain out of this. So we'll see an 80% chance of rain today, cloudy and cool. Otherwise, under the clouds and the showers, we're only going to make it up to 55 for a high temperature today, 5 degrees cooler than yesterday. Tonight, cloudy with a chance of light rain or drizzle. We're going to bring the rain chance down to 30% tonight at a low of 45. Now, most of this will just eventually come to an end later tonight. And that means for Tuesday, becoming mostly sunny, and we'll see a high of 63. But now as we get into Wednesday, which is Veterans Day, and what I talked about at the beginning, I think much of the day will be dry, but it will be breezy and warm. Southwest winds, 15 to 20, up to 30 miles per hour. Certainly possible as that system gets wound up, a pretty strong system for this time of the year. We're going to call for a high of 73 on Wednesday, but by Wednesday evening and Wednesday night, we'll see a line of showers and thunderstorms coming in, probably a squall line, big, long, linear line of storms. Some of those will have damaging wind potential, along with some lightning and heavy rainfall uh, as we get into Wednesday night. But it should move through pretty quickly by Thursday Skies will clear, and we'll see a high of 66, but falling temperatures behind that front down to 40 for Thursday night under a clear sky. And really, the upcoming weekend looks spectacular. We're going to see sunshine each and every day, but it is going to be cool. Highs will only be around 58 on Friday, 53 on Saturday, then sunny and 57 for Next Sunday, overnight lows will drop into the frosty 30s each of those nights for the upcoming weekend. So in the meantime, just a heads up that the uh, potential for severe weather looks to come Wednesday evening and Wednesday night with the passage of a cold front. Thunderstorms, some of those containing uh, some wind damage potential, straight line winds, guest front winds. Uh, after Veterans Day. So just be mindful of that. And that forecast could change. So keep it here for the very latest, and we'll keep you up to date. In the meantime, thanks for listening. God bless, as always. Know the weather before it knows you. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 a.m. for midday, streaming live to the WBKO app and to WBKO.com. Then later today, join me for my radio show, the Chris Allen Radio Show, at Classic Hits Sam 100.7 on your FM dial. We're going to do some uh, crazy things on Tuesday, just to give you a heads up. On Tuesday, as you know, REO Speedwagon is coming to town at Sky Pack at 730. Now, it is a sold-out concert, but I'll be broadcasting live from 5 to 7, just before the concert, we'll be playing a lot of REO Speedwagon hits uh, from the 80s, and uh, you'll be kind of getting you in the mood. For those of you that have tickets to the concert, we'll be kind of setting the stage for a big night here uh, with REO Speedwagon at Skypack on Tuesday night. Have a great day, and thanks for listening.